Welcome back. I'm Keegan Cooper. It was a historic day for the Northern Michigan men's basketball team as they welcomed the Michigan State Spartans to Marquette for the Superior Dome Showdown. Now head coach for the Spartans, Tom Izzo, entering his 30th year as the head coach for the Green and White and leading the other bench today, entering his sixth year as the head coach of the Green and Gold, it's Matt Mackerzak. And we jump into the action three minutes into the first half. Wildcats with the ball and Dylan Keel finds Julian Smith. His fadeaway jumper is good and we're tied to two. Staying with the Cats, Cal Klesman three minutes later finds Jackson Dudek in the corner. That three-pointer rattles home. Dudek had a game high, 14 points. Now rebounding an emphasis today and off a of Spartan miss, it's an offensive rebound sent back out to Jeremy Fierce Jr. who gets the shooter's bounce. MSU leads 13 to eight. Now less than five minutes left in the half. A turnover here by the Cats leads to Richardson with the shovel pass to Xavier Booker who brings the hammer down. MSU would take a 31-19 lead into halftime. And out of the break, the Spartans keep it going. Booker drives and gets the layup to go. That lead now, 38-23. But NMU not backing down. Brandon Trilly, that three, finds the bottom of the net. It's 52-28 MSU. Now, MSU only grabbed nine offensive rebounds. Credit to NMU on the glass. But this is a big one there as Apollo puts the exclamation mark. With this slam dunk, MSU leads 57-30. Now, NMU fought until the final buzzer. Michael McNabb finds Brian Parzik. That's a three-pointer, and it's good. To cut the lead to just 17, it wouldn't be enough, though. MSU takes this one. Your final score, 70-53. It's still a couple weeks early. Um, i got to keep that in mind. i got to keep in mind the distractions of the weekend. And uh, I love my guys. love my team. I didn't think we played as well as we can play in some effort-related things. If the film shows that, I'm going to address it. We stuck to a lot of the parts of the formula to win the game. I, I thought the other part, which we can't control, is we needed to shoot kind of out of our minds and have an out-of-body shooting experience, and we needed them to go bad from three, and they went eight of 17. And if you would have told me they went eight of 17 from three and 18 to 23 from the line, I, I would have thought it would have been more. So I'm, I'm really happy with how we played. Well, the Wildcats were definitely competitive out there this afternoon.